Joining me now is Nicole Netherton, the Executive Director of Travis Autobahn. March is here. Nicole, tell me, what can we expect with our feathered friends this month? So March is a really transitional time. Our uh, spring migration is starting. Um, new birds showing up. Every week we'll start to see new birds coming. Um, some of the exciting early warblers that we'll get in March are some that breed here. Um, those include the black and white warbler, which has kind of a squeaky wheel sound, mm. uh, yellow-throated warbler, and sort of our local celebrity, the golden-cheeked warbler. People have probably heard that name. Um, every single golden cheek is born in Texas. They only breed here, and Travis County is a is a really a hot spot for their for their breeding. They love the habitat here. They need that combination of ash juniper and oak to um, peel the bark of the juniper to make their nest and then the oak harbors the caterpillars that they need. Good to know. Lots of, lots of things to look forward to and it does sound like a big kind of transition season uh, and the migration season heats up as we get a little further into spring. Yes, correct? yes, yes. And I would, I just want to remind folks a couple of things that they can do to help migrating birds. There's, there's two big things I would suggest. Turn your lights out. Um, especially overnight, many birds are migrating at night and the artificial light either confuses them or sometimes it causes them to crash into our windows. So if you turn your lights out from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., starting now, going really, it's a great practice all the time, but during migration, especially it's helpful for birds. And then if you see caterpillars around, there's going to start to be a lot of caterpillars as things heat up. You have leaf litter where you're seeing larvae or bugs. Resist the urge to squish those insects. Resist the urge to spray. Don't clean it up right away. That is incredible food for baby birds, high protein, high fat. So if you can leave those bugs alone, it's a limited amount of time when they're chewing up your plants, um, but so many critters uh, really um, use those and, and uh, they help those baby birds grow. So think about, think about leaving those caterpillars for them. Absolutely. Less work for us and we're helping our, our feathered friends. Nicole Netherton, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much. Good to be here.